Okay, it's quite easy. You get into instruments and put in Halion 6. It takes a while, depending on your system. And while it's opening, it's putting in this first thing called hexagon. Everybody knows it, kind of. After that, you go into program one of the other programs down here and drag and drop it. And then it's empty, there's nothing in there. And here, in this feature called program, you go into create new zone and you create granular zone. Now if you've got a gr granular zone after that, so this program is a granular now, go into edit and in edit you go into sample and you have the sample window, then you can put in any sample you have. I go into the loop browser of QBase here and drag and drop some sample in there. And the first thing you realize, it's not really sounding because it's already granular. Then you can go into zone and you can have a look what can I do with this granular. First thing is duration. So, when the duration is fully up, this is a full sample, yes? You can also put on the, the uh, position here. I mean, everybody understands that. Uh, and as I told in a different video with this granular, you can put up the number of these samples as if it's multiplied on different tracks. And when you've done that, you can play around with pitch intervals of these different samples. Do an offset, for example. Now it gets into stereo by doing this offset. This can be randomized. So every time I press this, it's uh, changing. Uh, I also can change the pitch intervals there. And the number maximum is around 8. And also the sp position can be spread. Also an offset or can be randomized. And when you go down here, there are many, many more uh, different things you can um, manipulate. For example, LFO. If I put in LFO down here in the modulation matrix, I put in the LFO1. And up here, I wrote which LFO should be, it's, it's a sine wave and um, uh, can be anything else, a frequency. So let's leave it like that and this is the LFO and the destination should be grain, for example. So I can say a grain duration and, and when it's in and I change So this is not a very convenient sample for, for uh, demonstrating this, but uh, if I put in pitch, every time I press something, you realize it's changing, yes? Uh, so you can play around with that, uh, and the amplifier can be panned, and uh, also different envelopes you can put on this and change the position. This is inter inter interesting uh, as soon as you work with language, for example. So this is the duration thing, and then it gets quite interesting if I put in a strand here. Also key follow, it's the same when I go into the upper key or this key, or even can randomize this. Uh, and to pimp it up, you go into the mixer, and uh, there if you, you have all these different possibilities, like multi-top delay. They run with the mix, uh, with the feedback, or put in a changer there. Well, of course, you can also do that in a track or in, in, in Cubase, but um, most of these uh, plugins from Steinberg work within uh, Halion, not the other ones like Isotope or whatever. Uh, I, I put in the flanger, for example, and here, then it gets quite interesting, yes? Just a little reverb, and in the end I put in what I found, uh, um, the ring modulation is also quite nice. So. Um, Let's have a look, uh, Steve Flanger frequency shifter, that was the one, <laughs> that was quite interesting. Uh, as soon as you go into edit here, you can go into the uh, effect down here, and 
modulate that. So all in all, it's it's very easy to do all these things. And uh, let me just have a, a look down here. I can also put in a second LFO. And uh, I found that this duration thing is quite good. So go into grain and go into duration. And uh, let's look what's, let's see what's happening now. Well, this LFO has two. Uh, is not that interesting. I, I would put something in uh, a, a different waveform for the LFO2. So I go into LFO2 and put in um, sample and hold, something like that, and low frequency. And then let's now you hear what's happening. Yes, it's working quite. This is very fast. That and so on. So, uh, this was the granular side of uh, Helion. Uh, in the next video, I'll show you the wavetable side.